Hi TV fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lynn. Today I'm showing you my trip to Nagano. I didn't stay at Nagano proper. From Nagano train station, I headed to Yamanuchi to stay at a ryokan and visit the famous snow monkeys in Joshinchu Kojin National Park. Let's get started! Taking the Shinkansen to Nagano from Tokyo takes two hours. Nagano hosted the 1998 Winter Olympics. That's why all around the station you'll see the Olympic logo. From Nagano station, you will take Nagaten train to Yuranaka station. It costs 1,260 yen one way. Remember to press the limited express ticket so you can take the fastest train. The ticket machine is so old it doesn't take Suica, Passimo, or credit card. Make sure you have enough cash on you. With the express train, it'll take 44 minutes minutes to get to Yudanaka station. We bought the wrong train ticket and it took us an hour and a half to get there. It was okay because our hotel only had pickups starting at 3 p.m. and we got there right at 3. But to save time, it's worth paying for the express train. Here is what Yudanaka station looks like. There really isn't anything to do here. I already called my hotel to schedule a free pickup from the station, so we are just waiting for them. If your hotel doesn't have free pickup service, there are taxis, bus, or you can walk. From here, it takes 20 minutes to walk to the little town. We just got here and it is cold here. It is up in the mountains, so it's much colder than it is in Tokyo. We're coming here in the winter time. Remember to bundle up my hot drink. Our ride is here. Time to head to the Ryokan. It's called Kokuya Hotel. I booked my stay through Expedia. I'm staying here for two nights. Most tourists usually just stay for one night. One night is really enough to see the snow monkeys and to walk around town. I decided to stay an extra night because I really wanted to take it slow and relax in the onsen. The room I chose was a Japanese style room with open air bath named Teke. My entire stay cost $1,093.38. This includes breakfast and dinner. For dinner, you can choose between western style or Japanese style. I picked this hotel because it had a free pickup service to and from the train station and they will drop you off at the monkey park. Look, there's a window for you to see the hot spring water flowing underneath the hotel. This hotel is full of stairs. I was glad they brought our luggage to our room for us. This hotel isn't as fancy as the one I stayed at in Arashiyama, Kyoto, but it's a lot cheaper. If you haven't seen my vlog there, go check it out to compare the difference. In this hotel, there are 9 different types of onsen that are open 24 hours. There are private onsens for couples and families. Each onsen has a different color door curtain. Red means it's open for female and blue is for male. After 9 p.m. the curtains switch so you have a chance to try all the different types of onsen they offer here. This is the open air private onsen that you need to make reservations for. It is the only one you have to call the front desk to make an appointment for. When we arrived at our room, our room name was different than the one stated online. The room we got was called Ayame. It was the same type of room that was advertised on Expedia so the name didn't really matter. Just got here to our Ryokan. It's really nice and then they have free shuttle bus that take you to the monkey park. That was the biggest reason why I booked this place and also this place has so many different kinds of onsen that you can use. So if you don't have the onsen in your room, you can use that. I actually booked the one with the onsen in the room. Let's take a look at the room. Here are the yukatas and towels for you to use if you're going to try out the different onsens around town. Japanese style tables and chairs. I found it to be a bit uncomfortable. Let's take a look outside. There's a little picnic table. I wonder where that path leads. I love the decoration. We're outside but it's covered to give you some privacy. That path leads to nowhere. There's even a TV outside. We couldn't watch anything because all the channels were in Japanese. The the worst part is that the shower is outside. If it's winter, I can see it being really cold to shower outdoors. This is the entryway into our room. The bathroom is here. I love Japanese toilets. It is so efficient. Look at this. You rinse your hands after using the restroom and the gray water falls in to be saved for the next flush. I want one of this at my house. This cabinet holds all the bedding that they will set up for you later. There's free coffee and tea. I love their tea. It's so light and refreshing. During the evening, they will bring you a different tea to help you digest your food and help you relax and sleep. In the afternoon, they will bring you snacks and iced tea. There's the mini bar. Everything in here costs extra. Alright, so shower cap, laser, hairbrush, 
They provided everything you'll need during your stay here. Here's what's so cool about this place. They have all different types of onsen water around town that you can go to. Each different type of water has different health benefits. Here's the key that allows you to access each onsen. They are really easy to find. Each onsen has a room for men and women. This is what they look like. I personally didn't go in to try any of them because there were so many different types of onsen in my hotel. This is the reason I came here to see the snow monkeys. We'll be dropped off there tomorrow morning. They only drop you off to come back. You would either have to walk or take a bus. So this is nice that they provide the bus schedule. Okay, so this is the area where we'll be sleeping tonight. So I'm sure during the time we're eating dinner they're gonna secretly come in here and make our bed so right now i'm just gonna enjoy the onsen all right i'm in my yukata let's take a look look at all the sulfur build up around the onsen the water does smell like sulfur it smells a little bit like rotten eggs however the smell isn't as strong compared to other onsens i've been to we are enjoying the onsen. It is super nice. I enjoy the peacefulness of this outside. I like that it's continuously flowing and just enjoying the outdoors. I wish it was snowing. If you didn't know what an onsen is, here is a quick onsen lesson. The water has to come from a hot spring from the earth, either naturally or from artificially bored holes. The water needs to be higher than 77 Fahrenheit and it needs to have at least one of 19 different types of minerals in the water. After relaxing in the onsen, it is now time for dinner. They will give you different dinner times for you to pick from. Dinner is served downstairs. Most ryokan offer dinner and breakfast, which are often included in the price of the room. Meals consist of a traditional Japanese style known as kaiseki, which features seasonal and regional specialties. Here's the dinner menu for tonight. Every meal here will be completely different. That's why I like staying for two nights so I can taste all the different dishes they come up with. Once we got there, our meals were already set out for us. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to dig in. This is their local beef from Nagano Prefecture. Wow, look at the marbling on this thinly sliced piece of meat. I can't wait to dunk it into the shabu shabu broth. Here are the prices for the alcohol. Since we're here for the snow monkey, of course we gotta order the snow monkey sake. This is Kali sake made in Nagano. You can actually go visit Yoshinoya sake brewery near Nagano station for free. Ready to dig in. Yay! The dishes are beautiful. It's like jelly A lot of flavor. It's just a jelly poop. I thought the sake would be creamy because it looked cloudy, but it's not. It has a hint of fruitiness and sweetness at first, but a pretty strong alcohol aftertaste mm. afterwards. It's shiny, it looks so beautiful. And it's a real wasabi. It's weird that it's cut into like these little strips. It's super fresh. And the wasabi is like real wasabi, so sweet. It's not horseradish burning your nose. Mm. Kind of like a vegetable. It doesn't have much like strong taste to it. Okay. Putting all the veggies into the broth. Now, finally, time to dunk the precious meat into the shabu broth. This will also give the broth more flavor. This piece of meat was so tender, you didn't even need to chew it. It practically just melts in your mouth. I wouldn't mind eating a whole plate of this. Yuba is the skin from boiled soy milk. Dinner was such a wonderful experience. I always enjoy kaseki dinners. I just love all the small dishes with fresh ingredients. We ended our meal with some barley tea to help digestion. During dinner, our beds were magically made. Looks so comfy. Time for bed. I was still jet lagged, so I was up at 4 in the morning. Since nobody should be awake, I wanted to try out the public onsen. And since nobody was around, I snuck in some footage so you guys can see what they look like. This is kind of on the smaller side. I feel like it could only comfortably fit two or maybe three people. Supposedly, this is cold water onsen. I didn't go in. Let's go check out another one. Ooh, this one has a foot massager. Here's a cubby for you to put your stuff while you're in the onsen. This is the outdoor onsen. Out of the two, this one was my favorite onsen. 
that's where you rinse before jumping in. Time for breakfast! Eggs cooked in onsen water for one hour. These eggs were amazing. It was smooth and creamy and slightly salted to perfection. Oh, I'm drooling now. I wasn't given a menu for breakfast, so I don't exactly know what everything is, but they were all delicious. I finished everything. I know we were hiking today, so I gotta make sure I have a full belly. Everything was annihilated. Here's our ride to the monkey park. We were dropped off right at the beginning of the hike. The monkey park is located near the base of the Josinju Kogen National Park. Hi everybody! Today I'm at the entrance of the snow monkey park. The entrance to get in is 800 yen, which is about $8, 8 to $9. All right, let's get started to getting in. Our hotel actually dropped us off here or else you will have to take a bus to get here. If you're staying here and you're looking for a hotel, it's a nice spot. And why don't you go buy a whole package of bus and snow monkey tickets i'll put the price over here so that's a good deal if you're not staying here and don't have a ride up here during the winter months when it's wet or raining season you can actually rent some boots and jackets if you need to um, i think today it's okay it's not raining today yes i was looking at the weather report and it says it's either raining or snowy so i'm really glad that today is sunny and clear all right let's go and hike up Right, the ground is really muddy. I'm sad that I'm gonna get my shoe dirty and the hotel is gonna take my shoe away so I can't really clean it off. If you don't wanna get your shoe dirty, renting a shoe would be a good idea. And then be careful because it is muddy and slippy. So watch your steps and don't fall because when you fall, you fall down. walking here you can also dine here over here in this region they're really famous for their soba noodles each soba is made differently in every different region so it's good to try out every one of them have time this mountain is good for hiking look at all the different trails you can take the snow monkey park is a unique place where you can observe the wild monkeys going about their daily lives including the unique behavior of bathing in the onsen we're here at the snow monkey ticketing area so we're gonna go get some tickets and then we're gonna get the snow monkey got our tickets here ready to get into the park the ticket is 800 yen per person so it's not too bad and then if you don't want to carry your stuff or you have food after you buy the ticket, before you go to the monkey, there's a little rest stop that you can stop at. It even has a little tiny store where you can buy little souvenirs. But mostly, it's kind of a nice resting place, especially if you want to rest a little from the hike. No monkey, let's go. Fight, 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 fight. Let's see what the water feels like. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let's see what the water feels like. Oh, it's so nice. 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 Oh, it's so society where only the elite members of their society are allowed to bathe in the hot springs they are known as one of the most intelligent species as they are able to clean their food and then season it with seawater before eating it they roll snowballs for fun at first i was sad it wasn't cold enough for the monkeys to bathe in the hot spring but before we left one actually got in for a little bit 
Oh, he's pooping in the water. Oh, look, baby monkeys. Bye bye monkeys. After visiting the monkey park, saw a vending machine and we're getting hot coffee. It's really cold right now, so this is perfect in warming up my hand because it's frozen. Let's give this a try. Mm. Took a different path. It's opposite from where I first walked. I'm hoping that this path will be somewhere. It seems like this path is normally for cars, but we'll see if this path works. It looks like on Pokemon, <laughs> there's a parallel path, but I guess we'll see. Don't encourage your viewers to use Pokemon as a map. <laughs> Pokemon's a good map. <laughs> Their warning signs are so cute. The path we took is just for cars, but it's actually the best path to get back to our hotel. It's the most straightaway path, so I guess we gotta share it with the cars. That's where we came from. We safely made it back down the mountain. From that sign, we can walk, but I guess we're, we're the only one <laughs> that was gonna walk it. Everyone else took the other path. Hey, I don't like repeating paths because I get bored. So it's a nice path to go back down if you have to walk down. Now let's explore the little town we are staying at. I don't know if it's because it's not the right season to visit or because it wasn't a weekend, but all the shops look closed. But here is where you can buy manju. We finally found a store that's open. Hey, their manju are made fresh here and it is really good. I regret not buying more. Here's a free place to soak your feet in the onsen. Right outside our hotel, they are selling the same onsen boiled eggs. If you like your eggs more runny, you should buy some in the morning. They get more cooked throughout the day. I don't know what the sulfur does to these eggs, but they are so good. These are better than the sulfur boiled black eggs in Hakone. So we just got back to our hotel. We got a little snack. I can't wait to dig in because we didn't eat lunch today. Couldn't find anything that was really open and that looked good. So this is our lunch. It's okay because for breakfast we ate a lot of food. Let's try this. There's something in the middle. Mm. It's kind of like mochi and inside is a um, chestnut. It's really good. This was better than the welcome snack on the first day. Let's give the manju that I got a try. So here's Here's one. I don't know what's the difference between them, but here's the other one. Okay, these are the two munchies we got. Then we also got like what um Doraemon eats. <laughs> what? Is that what? Is that really what he eats? Yeah, that's his favorite food. Manju? No, this this bao bao thing. Oh. Onsen manju is supposed to be the best because you use the heat of the onsen to make the manju. Mmm, this is like the best manchu I had, but I'm, I'm not really experienced in manchu, but this is one of the best. Because usually, when I had it, the outer layer is pretty dry, and inside, it's uncle, which is red bean. And the red bean isn't too sweet. A lot of the time, the red bean is just overly sweet, but this one's really good. I now wish I, we bought more. We only bought one to share on the two of us. Hmm. Let's try the other one. I'm thinking the difference is the filling, maybe. Let's take it. Is the other white one? Hmm, the filling is the same. Mm. 
just the outer layer. You can tell the color. This outer layer is more fluffy. This outer layer tastes more like manto, which is like a bun bun. Whereas this outer layer tastes more like um, sponge cake. Yeah, that's the difference. That's the two munchies. So which one do I like more? I think I like this one more. It just has more, uh, more bouncier, fluffier texture. This one is good and it has more filling. If you could tell the, the filling difference. I like the outer crust of this versus this. Mmm, it smells so good. So we got matcha flavor. They had a lot of different flavors like coffee, they have a bunch. Give this a try. Mmm. Here it is. This is really good. Because I usually don't like this at all. Once again, because the uncle on the inside is really sweet. But this one's perfect. And the outer, and then also the outer side is always stale. I guess it's because I always buy the supermarket ones. And this is not anything like that. But my favorite is the Machu versus this. I think it's just gonna fall out. Alright. Are you able to squish it out? <laughs> Time to eat the eggy! I got the onsen egg, it's so jiggly. The one we had in the morning was more raw. I guess it's because this one probably been sitting there since morning, so it's been cooked longer. So if you get this later in the day, it'll probably be fully cooked. Our server said that they cooked this for 24 hours. Mmm, look at that yolk. The yolk looks so good. Mm. It's so creamy. Mm. It's perfectly cooked. Because I don't like it too runny. But this one's perfect. It's creamy. Mmm, you don't need anything. It has a hint of sulfuric taste. I had onsen eggs at Hakone. And that egg had no taste. It just tasted like regular eggs. There was no difference. This one, there's clearly a difference. If this doesn't give you all the cholesterol, I would eat so much more. But I'm now limited because I already ate an egg in the morning. So this will be my second egg. Yes, it's finally dinner time. The egg and manju was not enough. I'm starving. Here's tonight's dinner menu. Look at this shrimp. It was so fresh and the crab was delicious. So fresh and sweet. The croquette was fried perfectly. It's so crispy on the outside and inside was soft and creamy. Oh, I wish there was more than one on my plate. The next morning before breakfast, we went for a walk to see the goddess of mercy and world peace. That's where we're going. It was a 15 minute walk. The view from over here, you can see the whole entire town over here, and that was totally worth it. We got here at the tail end of cherry blossom season. Most of the cherry blossom already fell. I'm glad I'm still able to see something. Hey, look, we found a monkey at the temple. Time to head back for our last meal here. I'm sad to have to leave this place. It was so relaxing. The onsen was incredible. I definitely wouldn't mind coming back here again. Here are the different choices you can pick for free. They make it so easy. The free luggage delivery to a coffee shop next to the train station makes it very convenient to walk around before heading to the train station. I chose to take the free car shuttle to the train station. They knew all the times of the limited express train, so they told us exactly when to meet the car at the front of the hotel. If you have a tight schedule in Japan, Yamanuchi can be easily done with just one night stay. I would arrive at 3 p.m. because that's when the car pickup service is available. The first day, you can walk around the little town and enjoy the onsen. The next day after breakfast, you'll use the hotel's luggage service to have your luggage brought to the coffee shop right next to Yudana station. Then take their free shuttle to the monkey park. Then you can take a bus back to the station from the monkey park. If you need any help, just comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. Once again, we missed the limited express ticket button. But this time, one of the hotel staff noticed and helped us pick the right one to pay for the right amount. To buy the ticket, we use a vending machine. Uh, we got the wrong ticket because we're taking express train. So that's why we had to add another 100 yen. 
Our hotel gave us a little care package when we checked out. That's so sweet of them. It was two pickled plum onigiri, which is Japanese rice balls, and a bag of different types of candy and snacks. Thanks for watching. I really hope this video helps you plan your trip to see the snow monkeys. Give this video a thumbs up if it really helped you. Subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified when I post more travel and food vlogs. I'll vlog you next time. Bye!